Hey, what's up? Warner Nickerson here, and I'm going to teach you guys how to install a booster strap today. Um, and then kind of go over a couple of the features. So let's start out by going over the common mistakes. So usually people, the few common mistakes are, is that when you connect a booster strap, you end up putting it one way or another. So maybe it's like too far over here or too far over there. You know, the other one is you end up going upside down with it. And then the other one, which is a real bummer, is when you have the buckle here on the inside and then you look like a total Jerry. So you don't wanna do any of those three things. So it's an extremely simple process. Anybody can do it. This is the five step process to get there. All I have is this little tool. That's all I'm gonna use. First step you have to do is you have to take the old stock strap off, which luckily I have already done. Um, but for me, that was just using this Allen key and two screws. Um, and with some of the some of the boots that have rivets on it, you just have to screw from the inside. Usually, it takes about a um, like a one quarter inch bit. So you drill that out, and then you can install your booster. So that's step one. Step two is aligning the booster strap in the right place. First thing you want to do is you want to buckle your boot up so that it's just about where it'll be when you're skiing. So then you can see how tight your strap needs to be. And then you want your strap to kind of be right at about the side, maybe about nine o'clock or three o'clock, depending on the boot. So I'm gonna go here, here. That looks pretty good. We've got the strap right here at about nine. Um, and then I come back here to line up the hole. Step four is putting holes in. So I'm going to use this trusty little, little Allen key and uh, just kind of put in, there we go, just kind of put a number of holes in. You can use a screwdriver, you can use a bunch of different things. It's actually pretty simple. So now that I had the hole in and then I just put my little screw through, I'm going to attach my first one and then line up the next hole for the second one. So after I have the first hole in and screwed it in, then I line up the second hole exactly where that should be and put in a second hole. Step five would be screwing in the final screws. So um, here we go. So there you go, it's all done. And um, once you do this, then there's kind of two, a couple different ways you can, you can set it up. You can have this go inside of the part of, your, part of your cuff here. So the booster strap is partially hidden or you can go outside. Um, Ray at the factory recommends that you go inside so that you'll have the closest contact to your shin. Um, and the reason booster straps work so well is because these little guys are elastic so that you can tighten it up and you can have constant pressure on the front of your shin right here, which act, which gives you more control and um, it gives you that immediate response. So when you like roll it up, you, you immediately know what's going to happen to your ski and you get an immediate feedback. So that's why he does it on the inside. Some people do it on the outside. It's kind of all personal preference. So. There you go. Let's go out there and make some nasty turns. So that looks uh, pretty good to me.